One of the most requested features for Pat Menu is finally here. Stick around and we'll get right to it. Real quick before we get going today, I've got to give a shout out to these guys. They're my latest patrons over on Patreon. If you'd like to help support the channel, I'll leave a link to Patreon down in the description below. So let's start by opening up Pat Menu. I want to show you guys a couple of new things uh, that's in this latest release. First thing you'll see, and actually this is not uh, in the latest release, this actually came out in 2.8 or 2.9, I can't remember which, but when I first click on to open Pat Menu, you see I get this warning dialog box, and in this case I've just got it set to say 705 config file loaded, uh, because that's the radio I'm using at the moment. However, you could make this say whatever you wanted to, and I'll show you guys how to do that in just a second. The reason I implemented this originally was just to remind me which radio I had loaded into the config file since I'm using this Raspberry Pi with multiple radios. So let's go ahead and click OK there and you'll see that the main screen loads up here. Let's jump over to settings and config real quick and current config settings. If you want that custom dialog box or the custom warning box, right down here at the bottom you set this to yes and then you can put whatever message you want in the warning message box at the very bottom. So in this particular case, I've just got mine set to say that the 705 config is loaded. Hopefully that'll clear up any questions that guys may have had about that warning message. Let's go ahead and click cancel here and let's get back to the main menu so we can show you the real meat of today's video. And that is one of the most requested features for Pat Menu, and that's to support the VARA modems. So we've done that in two different ways. First of all, uh, if we click on Find Winlink Gateways and then Search for a Gateway, you'll see that you now have the option to choose which modem you're going to be using when you're connecting to a gateway. So, VARA or RDOP. So I'm going to go ahead and leave it at VARA for right now. And let's go ahead and choose the 40 meter band and just click Search. That will bring up all of the VARA gateways in the Echo Mic grid square on 40 meters. So if we click on any one of these, we can then choose to add that alias to our list. So we'll just go ahead and grab this one here because I don't think it's on my current list. WW4MSK. Let's go ahead and click add the alias. And we'll get a little window here that tells us that the alias has been added. So let's go ahead and double check that in the PAT mailbox. Now if the PAT mailbox is already open, you will need to refresh that window before those changes are going to show up. Let's go ahead and click Ready right there, and let's see what we've got. If we come under Select Aliases, you'll see that that new one has been added right there at the very bottom. Now, one other really cool feature that I want to introduce to you guys today is Pat Auto Connect. Let's go ahead and click on that button, and you'll see once again we get the choice for which modem we want to use. Vara or Argop. So now we can use the VARA modem when we're using the PAT Auto Connect feature inside of PAT Menu. So if we set VARA here, we can then select the band that we want to use and give it our search criteria. If we went ahead and clicked Start Connection, then PAT Menu is going to look at all of the gateways that match your search criteria and go through that list one at a time trying to make a connection to each of those gateways. Once it has made a connection, it's going to stop and log that information. If it can't make a connection using your search criteria, you'll get a box that will tell you that as well. Now, keep in mind that in order to use this feature, you do need to have the VARA modem installed on your Raspberry Pi. If you don't have that already, I have done a video on how to manually install the VARA modems. I'll leave a link to that down in the description below. And in the next version of build a -Pi, we will have the option to install the VARA modems using build a -Pi. One other thing to point out is that it does log successful connections. So let's go up to the Pi menu. I'm going to come down to Accessories and Log Viewer. 
We'll open that up, and this is my current log. And as you can see right here, I made a successful connection to N5TW with Vara HF. So now, knowing that that connection was successful, and it also gives me the time of day, which is important, uh, this one happened to be at 5.35 in the morning, I can go ahead and add that to my alias list. So there you have it, guys. There's a quick look at some of the new features in Pat Menu 2.10.0. I hope you guys found this information useful. We will see you guys on the next one. Until then, 7-3.